Hello, this is the Lightning Stalker here again with some uh, ideas for for electronics. If you need uh, things, if you need certain things, a lot of times you can get them from from other things. From like this here is an old phone. Uh, cordless phone that had a speaker phone in it and uh, the speaker is right here and I needed an amplifier uh, an audio amplifier just one one speaker for a pink noise generator I built uh, so it helps me sleep at night it's sort of like a fan. I'll, I'll, let's see. Oh, I, I got it unplugged. Otherwise, I would, I would show it. I would demonstrate it for you. But, um, it sort of sounds like a waterfall. and it helps helps you to sleep if you have trouble sleeping. But what I did. Uh, to get this this little amplifier here uh, out of this phone was I went to the speaker which is right here I don't know how well you can see that and I I followed the wires from the speaker back to the circuit board and from there I followed the traces on the circuit board back and this is a double sided board so they go through to the other side too and uh, I kept going and eventually I ended up at at this at this little chip right here uh, and uh, I did a, a search on datasheetcatalog.com and got the data sheet and it's a, what it's an audio it's an op amp I see. Uh, so they're using it as the amplifier for that speaker. So then, what I did was I found the the wire, the traces to the to the input pins of this chip, and I followed them back. Um, I continued following it back until eventually. Eventually, I got uh, I got here to the volume control, and uh, I I took my s signal source, and I I clipped it on the the different terminals. This one has four terminals to see which one the uh, volume volume control would um, was which one was the input to the volume control and I hooked that up to this pin here it turned out to be that pin and the other the ground or the negative from my uh, my my other circuit I just connected to the to the circuit ground uh, which is right here uh, you can tell the circuit ground because uh, usually it's there's a there's a large uh, it's it's the large one that covers a lot of the circuit board in the empty spots and uh, also, it, it hooks up to the to the negative terminal of the bigger capacitors, 
on the board and uh, so once I found all that I hooked it up and plugged in the 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 power supply it's just one of these little wall wart things and uh, fired up my my signal source my pink noise generator and uh, and I got and it works so if if you're looking for for something a lot of times you can you can find it in in a circuit that's already been been made uh, cuz a lot usually when when a circuit goes when a circuit breaks when something breaks uh, most of the circuitry is is still good and the, Every every complex circuit is always made up of little circuits that are all connected together. And all I did was just tapped into the one circuit for the for the that goes through the speaker and I had my little amplifier. Um see some of the other things you can I'm trying to think of some of the other things you can you can do like this well my my other amplifier it's in another video I I hacked into that one uh, you can you can take like a boom box one of those old boom boxes and and you just trace your your circuit back and and you can use it as a um as a speaker for your iPod or whatever you just solder in a phono jack from from Radio Shack or wherever uh and uh, then, because a lot of times they don't have a have an input, uh, so you you gotta make one. Uh, but that that's that's all audio. I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff you can do. Cause cause you. It's not just just audio that you can do this with. Uh, oh, uh, like right here, you have a voltage regulator. Say say you wanted that voltage regulator, um, but you didn't want to have to go to all the trouble of making a whole circuit what you can do is you can just follow the wires and and see where the capacitor is and everything and a lot of times you can a lot of times it's it's off by itself and you can just cut that out of the board and then you have your voltage regulator circuit um, you can see in one of my other videos a good method for cutting pieces out of circuit boards. Um, what else? Oh, uh, over here I've got a. Um, this is uh, this is out of a microwave. This you can get a lot of good parts from microwaves. This is just one of them. This is this is called a triac, and it's basically an electronic switch, sort of like a transistor, but it works in both directions. So you can get you can get good stuff out of different circuits. Uh, 
I guess that's it for now. Have a nice day.